Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about what you find in forts in Oblivion. What's inside of them? What kind of loot you're going to find? What kind of enemies you're going to find? Now real quick, this video is sponsored by my wooden computer monitor stand called Pacific Office Supply. If you want to buy one to support the channel, check the description for the links. But anyways, we're going to talk about what's inside of forts. Forts are kind of like... The normal people alien ruins, to say the least. You find alcohol in them, you find treasure in them, sometimes you find gear, sometimes you find potions. It really depends on the enemies you're going to find. But most importantly, you are going to find um, alcohol, some like a moderate amount of potions, and a lot of jewelry and clothes. Now, the enemies that spawn in forts are usually humanoids. Either necromancer, vampire, bandit, or marauder type enemies one of those four enemies and that really dictates what kind of gear you're gonna find if you find necromancers or vampires you're gonna find a lot more potions and magical clothes and jewelry not so much on the gear and weapons side if you find bandits and marauders you basically find a moderate amount of everything except less enchanted clothes and more gear and stuff like that low level you just find uh, equipment but high level you do find those enchanted items forts are really good Kind of like Oblivion Gates and Caves, where you find the super cool special enchanted items that are like 10,000 coins or whatever. But the main thing I use forts for is sometimes they will actually spawn undead. And that gives me access to bone meal, zombie flesh, and ectoplasm. I use forts for the alchemical ingredients. Um, when you also find potions, it's great if you have an Atronach or someone that uses a lot of health or magic potions, because you find a bunch of those. I don't use forts necessarily for money, because forts give you gear that you would use, if that makes sense. It doesn't, I mean, it gives you some gems and some enchanted stuff, and of course, like, everything you raid, you're gonna find stuff that you're gonna end up selling, but forts... They give you useful gear, like they give you potions, and they give you alchemical ingredients. That's the main thing that really sets them apart. Yeah, you get some clothes that are valuable, but they're not as valuable as if you raid an alien ruin and get enchanted gemstones, because clothes aren't worth as much as gemstones. Okay, forts. I like um, to save forts to raid, because I think forts are a very unique type of dungeon in Oblivion. I think I said that I like the alien ruins, because they're unique. In my opinion, forts um, are also very unique. Sometimes I feel like they're the most unique dungeon. Unless I raid a bunch of them, then they get kind of boring. But forts, to me, seem extremely unique most of the time. Because I don't raid them. Because I save them. And they also have quests tied to them. Usually, some of them are a mage tower. Um, some of them are like special. Like, oh, this person lives here. A lot of them have to do with story elements of side quests for some reason. I think there's... Um, I want to say like five forts on the top of my head that I can think of that are story based as compared to caves or alien ruins or stuff like that. So it's good to find them. They also give you access to the two types of flowers that you would need to collect if you get kicked out of the mages guild. So knowing all the fort locations is really good because if you ever get kicked out of the mages guild um, and you need the dragon's tongue flower and the red wart flower, that's where they are, which is around forts. That's all I have to say about forts. I really like them. I like to save them. They're kind of like if I'm raiding and I see one, I'm like, ooh, yeah. But they're, there's a lot related to quests. So I would like to know what you think about forts in the comments below about Oblivion. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion episodes. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. Hopefully I'm not going to be sick for too much longer. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Streamer Vlog or whatever I decide to make.